welcome back guys it's the rainbow cooper and beautiful finally we've got 1.8 like what we've got 1.8 this is not false i nearly got a heart attack when i saw this i was just like um oh yeah let's just go play minecraft and then i just see this and i've been playing on snapshots and everything and oh my god i nearly got a heart attack when i saw this so Minecraft 1.8 came out today just, I don't know, in the last hour or something because when I checked like an, two hours ago it wasn't here. So it legit came out now. So anyway, let's just read what it has because it's... Oh, I just can't believe this. <laughs> I nearly with a heart attack. Okay, so it added granite, andesite, diorite, okay. And the normal stuff, slime blocks, iron trapdoors, prismarine, and that sea, that, that sea temple stuff. Yeah, that ocean one stuff. Um, red sandstone, banners, armor stands, coarse dirt, dirt where grass won't grow. Okay. Yeah, because I was wondering what the hell was that. And I was like, because it wasn't any different than I tried to build it with. So, yeah. Coarse dirt, guardian mobs, those guardians, the thing that have lasers, pew pew, and stuff like that. Endermites, rabbits with item drops, mutton and cooked mutton, that's the meat you get from the sheep. Villagers will harvest crops and plant new ones, that's good. Uh, mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks are now craftable. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, so um, the actual thing for that is if you, I think... It's when you just get like a cobblestone and vine together. Um, yeah, I think that's how you craft it. Chisel stone bricks are now craftable. I need to, you guys need to check that, how to craft that. I'll probably just do like a whole update and check thing. Um, doors and fences now come in all wood type variants. There is a sponge block that has regained its water absorbing ability and becomes wet. Um, I think that was actually in like the betas and alpha updates when I kind of was when I just discovered Minecraft back then, and yeah, so it's gained that ability again. It's added a spectator game mode, so game mode three is basically when you just fly around and you can't literally break blocks, do anything, kind of like adventure creative adventure and creative mode mixed together. So you can't do anything because you can fly and you're invisible. So kind of like that. I did one new achievement. Don't know what that is. Added the customized world type, but you can just create your own world. Like you can just like um, I created my one once, and it was like um, you could have like lava oceans and all cool sorts of stuff like that. It's adding a hidden debug mode. That's like when you make your world like. You know, um, uh, amplified, and when you click that button, um, so like default, flat, amplified, and customized. That's all you see. But if you press shift and click that button, it will go to debug, and that basically shows all the blocks from like all different angles and stuff. And yeah, and it takes you into the new spectator game mode too. Spectator game mode. Um, where were we? Okay, we were here. Um, worlds can now have a world border, so barrier. That's kind of if you've ever seen like Seth Bling or anyone like that. They kind of just have like a world border. Um, the block beta command, the clone command, execute fill, particle test for blocks. That that this 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 command will be very helpful because yeah, it is. I I know. Um, the title command, I did a tutorial on that, you guys remember. Um, yeah, and the test for blocks, it just means that you can test for different blocks at which, like, at each position, so you can, like, choose it. You can, that's a very good, um, thing for map makers, because, like, pretend if you just made a map, and then they had to collect some sort of block and then place it in, like, I don't know, like a library. And then you placed it, and then that, 
and then that command gives an output to like some sort of things like fireworks so it activates some sort of fireworks and stuff yeah that, there's an idea um, the trigger book command don't know what that is the world border that's the barrier yeah that's the barrier command the slash stats command containers can be locked in custom match by using the lock data the lock data tag um yeah which means like um you can lock tests and stuff added log admin commands shows def messages reduce debug info um send command feedback and run tick speed game rules so those are basically game rules like the keep inventory and stuff like that well these are the new ones um added three new statistics player skins can now have double layers across the whole model and left slash right arms can arm slash legs can be edited independently so you can have like one arm like that and the other different and stuff like that and you can have like a whole second layer so you can have like you know your skin and then the cloak on top of that and then you can obviously take off that cloak um added a new player model with smaller arms and new player skin called alex uh what Oh, I think it's like another skin, so like Steve and stuff. Um, added options for configuring what pieces of the skin that are visible. Blocks can now have custom visual variations in the resource packs. Um, Minecraft Realms now has an activity ch chart so you can see who has been online. Minecraft Realms now lets you upload your maps, so that means that if you have like I don't know you just made like a new adventure map you can upload that to realms and realms is kind of a server you buy it's like five pounds or something um per month that's like ten dollars or, so, or something around those lines and yeah so that's that and yeah it's basically a server and you can only have like your friends on it and stuff that you want the people you want Difficulty setting is saved per world and can be locked if wanted. Enchanting has been redone. Now it costs Lapis Lazuli in addition to enchantment levels. That's basically in your enchantment table right now because Lapis before just didn't have like anything. You just couldn't do anything with Lapis. Now basically what you do is you put in your tool, you put in the Lapis and then it you get you can get for like a level three enchantment that'd be like i don't know like power five or something or like punch two or like um sharpness five you can do like crazy stuff like that because you're using lapis that's kind of hard to find difficulty setting is saved per world and can be locked if one that means you can like lock it on hard so that no other player can like change it to easy or something in um villager trading has been rebalanced so you won't get the stupid crazy trades anvil repairing that has been re rebalanced so that means yeah um you can just do stuff for like level three enchantments and stuff um max render distance has been increased to 32 chunks that's 512 blocks adventure mode now prevents you from destroying blocks unless you or items have the can destroy tag um, yes, yeah, so you can't destroy blocks in adventure mode um, unless you there's a new tag. It's kind of, you use it with a command, and um, so you can make, get like a shovel, and um, that can destroy block. And then it uh, has like can destroy dirt and <laughs> diamond doors. You can just do that sort of stupid stuff. Um, um, resource packs can now also define the shape of blocks and items, not just their textures. So you can have a triangular block, block if you uh, make like a custom texture pack or something. Scoreboards have been given a lot of new features, so instead of just like getting like the death count, they can have like random new cool stuff. Block and ID numbers, oh yeah, this is very important. Block ID numbers such as one for stone are being placed by ID names such as was a Minecraft stone. So when you used to want to get a command block, so it was like slash give I uh, know your username um one three seven I think it was. Now you have to do slash give your username 
Minecraft colon command underscore block. Server list has been improved. A few minor changes to village and temple generations. Mob heads for players now show both skin layers. Buttons can now be placed in ceiling. Lots and lots of other changes. Lots and lots of other changes. And removed hero bank. Okay. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, go check out 1.8 because it's awesome. And yeah. It was kind of just a quick video to tell you guys that 1.8 is out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I went kaboom. I'll see you guys next time.